What's up, everybody? It's Spring Decisions here, and yes, I had to stop and get me a little bit of lunchy lunch, but I actually want to talk to you guys about Young Thug and what did his attorney do wrong in his bond hearing because he was denied bond, or did the attorney do anything wrong? Well, again, this is part of your weaponizing and also part of the new learning series because at this time, it's time to start ramping this thing up a little bit. Because I want you guys to understand at every aspect of this, the challenges are great, but the understanding must be greater. Because doing this can literally mean life and death. So hit the intro and we're going to get ready to go. All right, let me get let me get right. Well, one of the things that I observed because I actually watched that long ass hearing because I wanted to see what his attorney was actually going to do because, like I said, I've been in that situation. I know generally what to expect and how to expect it because my initial bond hearing was the second day I was in there, which is you know seventy two hours, blah blah blah. It was denied. Well, Young Thug has been in there longer than 72 hours, so this is technically his second bond hearing. Now, one of the things I, I feel, I thought, or well, believe, that was done wrong by his attorney was he talked too much. Because you talk too short, you never connect with your audience. If you talk too long, you lose them forever. That's what happened. His attorney spoke entirely too long. And that goes to part two. Know your audience. He spoke about Thug's past accomplishments and the music awards, and the judge doesn't care about any of that. He just wants to know, is he a, th is he a danger to the community? Or is he a flight risk? Now, after... 25 minutes of speaking, those two keys he did hit on was the simple fact that he spoke about Thug has been all around the world and has always come back to Georgia, considering that's where he lives. Anyway, I want to give you the greatest aspect of any of this. But before I do that, Give a shout out to Free at Last Bail Bonding in Atlanta because they were not only in the building, they were ready to go. They were Johnny on the spot, so to speak. But back to the seriousness of this. A lot of people hate that I have short videos. A lot of the first videos are three, four minutes long, some of them five minutes long. But the context of them is simply like this one because I believe this is going to be like a five minute video. It's the understanding and the impact of it. The connection is you're watching another one because there was something impactful that touched you. That's what has to be done when you're trying to make a connection because you're not necessarily arguing your point. You're arguing to go home. You're arguing law. You keep it on the law because... I was told once, the law works, use it. If the law doesn't work, use that too. You have to understand human nature. There are certain things that are going to change. There are certain things that are not going to change. When I tell you police officers aren't trained, guess what? That's human nature. We're not worrying about that because that's when the law works because they're not trained to do it properly. Now, when you're going through those aspects, it's also important to be a great storyteller. You must be able to relay your vision to others, and they must be able to connect with you quickly. This is the aspects of understanding and weaponizing your defense. 
It's not about telling your side. It's about getting the law in. 